Born on September 22, 1891, in Columbus, Georgia, Thomas was the eldest of four daughters. Her father worked in a church, and her mother was a seamstress and homemaker. Thomas's family was well-respected in Columbus, and she and her sisters grew up in comfortable surroundings. The family lived in a large Victorian house high on the hill overlooking the town where Thomas spent her childhood observing the beauty and color of nature. In 1907, when Thomas was 15 years old, her father moved the family to Washington, D.C. She enrolled in Howard University and in 1924 became the first graduate of its newly formed art department. Thomas's teacher and mentor, James V. Herring, granted her use of the private art library from which she gained a thorough background of art history. A decade later, she earned her master's of art degree in education from Columbia University. Alma Thomas began to paint seriously in 1960, when she retired from her 38-year career as an art teacher in the public schools of Washington, D.C. In the years that followed, she would become regarded as a major painter of the Washington Color Field School. As a black woman artist, Thomas encountered many barriers. She did not, however, turn to racial or feminist issues in her art believing rather that the creative spirit is independent of race or gender. Thomas was in her eighth decade of life when she produced her most important works. Earliest to win acclaim was her series of earth paintings, pure color abstractions of concentric circles that often suggest target painting and stripes. Done in the late 1960s, these works bear references to rows and borders of flowers inspired by Washington's famed azaleas and cherry blossoms. The titles of her paintings often reflect this influence. In these canvases, brilliant shades of green, pale, and deep blue, violet, deep red, light red, orange, and yellow are often offset by white areas of untouched raw canvas, suggesting jewel-like Byzantine mosaics. Alma Thomas never married and lived in the same house her father bought in downtown Washington, D.C. in 1907. The final years of her life brought awards and recognition. In 1972, she was honored with a one-woman exhibition at the Whitney Museum of American Art and at the Concoran Gallery of Art. That same year, one of her paintings was selected for permanent collection at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City. Before her death in 1978, Thomas had achieved national recognition as a major woman artist devoted to abstract painting.